My name is John Katsos. I'm an Associate Professor of Business Law and Business Ethics at the American University of Sharjah. So corporate governance is how corporations are governed. So we talk about state governance all the time in terms of rule of law and in terms of how people get together and make decisions for, for governmental structures. Corporate governance is exactly the same way. So it's about the people within the corporation deciding what are going to be the rules of the game for the corporation. And they have pretty wide latitude. So government's regulated a bit, but for the most part, corporations get to decide their own rules of the game. And corporate governance is making sure that those rules are done in a, in a way that achieves the objectives of the corporation, but that also whatever rules are set down are followed. I think from the very beginning, corporations have to be talking about how they're going to be governed. Sometimes those conversations are informal, so especially with very small enterprises, those conversations are going to be just among the founders. If there's only one founder, it might just be the person thinking about how they're going to govern themselves. But it's important, especially early on, to have that conversation if there's more than one person involved, so that this way everyone knows what to expect. So, so many conflicts can arise just because people's expectations are mismatched. And that initial governance conversation ensures that everyone is on the same page and those difficult conversations take place early. The big help it can provide is often to provide security to investors that they understand that the founders have really thought through these initial issues. Sometimes MSMEs are just not prepared for the kinds of questions that investors are going to ask. Having an initial corporate governance conversation and doing some of the groundwork can help for those later conversations where you're going out and seeking funding. So investors are always going to ask for documentation related to corporate governance structures. The question then is what kind of documentation do you have and is it well thought through? If you've got those two in place, that's a box that you get to check with investors. It also helps you get certain types of financing. So depending on the type of investor, they may want equity shares, for instance, right? They may want not only a say, but also a portion of the profits. So if they want those sorts of things, initially having the setup be prepared for that conversation makes the transition much easier so you don't have to go back and change documents later on. So first is use the resources that are available to you. So Pearl Initiative and other organizations within the UAE have lots of resources available for people to use. And it's often at either no cost or low cost, and there's no restriction for you to use them. There's lots of resources out there. On top of that, there's lots of free resources available online that are generally focused that aren't regionally specific, but they can still help at least set the tone for the conversation that you have. So there, the cost doesn't need to be a barrier for those companies to have those conversations. And the resources, especially locally, are there for companies that want to engage in this conversation. And the, the easiest conversation to have, at least from an initiation standpoint, is the one that most people hold back from having, which is how are you going to split decision-making authority uh, from profit making, from day-to-day -day decision making. That's the nexus in which most founders want to have full control over all three. And yet, as you expand, there's no way to maintain control over all three and still get access to funding. So that first conversation is, is it's easy to have, but it's really hard to come to some kind of resolution because it deals with some of the internal factors in founders. It's also difficult when you have more than one founder. So if you have more than one founder, getting them to agree on what's our profit sharing gonna be, if we bring somebody in, how will we bring that person in? How will we get financing? And yet those conversations are critical to making the, this next step. Right? So going from the MSME phase, if you're trying to scale up, understanding the, the, the groundwork that has already been laid is really important. And if you haven't had the conversation, people get into all sorts of conflicts as a result.